Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks for choosing JAS Madras. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to create grids for any shape file or study area boundary. So as you can see here, this is my study area boundary and I need to create grids for this. So let's see how to do. So there is a tool available for this process. In order to go to the tool, navigate to views and here you can find geoprocessing click on geoprocessing and you can see the geoprocessing window appearing on the right hand side now here just type in grid index grid index features so you could just follow up the results grid index feature so open this tool so the first is output feature class just use this button to save the output file so navigate to the folder and you can save the output file so I'm going to give shape file underscore grids so let me save it so the next step is input features so it is asking for which feature we are creating the grids so I'm going to choose study area you can choose accordingly so if you please come down to the next option you can find generate polygon grids that interacts input feature layers or data sets so so if you enable it the polygon grid will be will only be created when it's interact with the input features for example in this region the grids may not be available because there isn't any feature available so here there might be not any grids forming so likewise here also so let us see the result how it looks like so please come down to the next option here we are going to choose the polygon width and height so first is we are going to choose the units in this case I am going to choose kilometers you can choose accordingly meters kilometers or miles so I am going to create a 4 into 4 grid 4 kilometer by 4 kilometer grid so now let us run it so you can see here the, the result is result has come out so I am going to just drag the study area and I am going to place it to the top and now let me choose no color and you can see how the grids are formed so where and all the feature is interacting there the grids is available where the feature is not interacting because you can see there is no part of the study over here so there is no grid form so like this you can do uh, you can now label the features grid feature label properties so in the expression I am going to just remove this expression and I am going to select the page number and apply it so you can see the grid numbers so let us see what happens if we uh, if you if you don't enable this option so let me change the output file name and let me run it once again so that you can see the difference so now you can see the difference out here so when I haven't enabled this one the results the grid available is different as you can see here let me remove the old grids and you can see the difference So here the grids are formed in uh, each of the area where the feature is not interacting also the grids has been formed. So you can choose accordingly if you want uh, uh, this type or uh, this type based on your necessity. So I prefer the first grids uh, by enabling it will be better I think. So if you want to just uh, if you want to clip it you can do so just go back and here you can just type in clip and you can see the option clip layers open it so I am going to input my first created gear, grid and the clip features will be study area if you want you can save it to any particular location by using this browse option the output location you can save it so like this you can navigate
now let us run it so the processing has been completed let me remove the other layers and you can see this is how it looks like when we clip it so thanks for watching if you find the video useful please do uh, support us by giving a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching goodbye everyone